What's up, Vargas Dolphins? Mr. Betts here. Happy Earth Day. I have another poem for you today, and this is called an acrostic poem. It's one of my favorites, and it's super fun to do all kinds of acrostic poems. So I'm going to teach you how to do it. We'll do one together, and then you can try at home. Okay? So uh, the first thing you do is you think about what topic. Well, of course, our topic with Earth Day is Earth. So what you see I've done is I've written our topic straight down, Earth. And notice that they're all capital letters. I want them to stand out. And this is different than writing sentences. We don't need periods. We, can, we don't need a complete sentence. It can be a phrase. It's free-flowing for whatever you want to say. So what we're going to do is, and you can see I did, I hope you can see, I did blue, green, blue, green, blue. So I got another A, B pattern going here uh, because, you know, the big blue marble. We got green and blues for uh, water and, and land and plants. So uh, we're going to start. So I look at my E, that's my first letter, and I think of something I can write with E about the earth. So I'm going to say, um, earth is our home. Okay, you can say earth is everything, whatever you want, okay? Uh, let's look at the A. Um, how about uh, animals? Animals need, double E, one, two. They need a home, too. Okay? So, Earth is our home. Animals need one, too. Uh, the R. That reminds me of the three R's. So, I'm going to say uh, reduce. Like, reduce your amount of waste and garbage. Like, don't put too much food on your plate. Only take what you're going to eat. Reduce. Reuse. <clears throat> And this is like what we did with the crafts. You re, re the octopus, we reused the toilet paper roll. We reuse paper, whatever you can find. You reuse it. Give it another purpose. That's reuse. And then, of course, recycle. Well, that one we all know. We recycle things, plastic, aluminum cans, all those things so we keep our planet cleaner. So reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh, these are turning out great. Okay. Um, let's see, T, T, um, I know, how about this, try to save, there's my long E, silent E, save, try to save water, we live in California, and water is always very important to us, so when you're brushing your teeth, turn off the faucet, brush your teeth, and then turn it back on, don't waste water, don't let it run the whole time, right? That's a good one. So, or don't pour yourself a glass of water and just leave it. You know, you want to drink it. Okay, so we have one more and we're almost done. Uh, H. Well, I got a great one for this one. It's Earth Day. So, happy Earth Day. Yay. Now, I used phrases. You could even use just one word, you know? Um, earth, and then uh, it could be everything. Um, whatever, whatever you want, you create it, okay? So this is an earth acrostic poem. Now, you, once you do the earth poem, and you can take a picture of it and show me, or you can uh, do a different kind of acrostic poem. Instead of doing Earth, which I'd still like you to do for Earth Day, after you do this one, try your name. Write your name going down. That would be you are the topic then. And you can pick a word that is maybe something you like, your favorite thing, uh, or a word about you. You know, um, proud or resilient. Uh, that's a hard word. Um, but a word that describes you, okay? Okay. So you can do that as well. And you can keep doing these. You could pick an animal. You could do a fox. Fantastic. Outstanding. Ooh, X would be hard though, huh? 
Um, but do whatever you can and just have fun with it. This, this kind of a poem is really for you to have fun with. Okay. All right. I'm Mr. Betts and I'm out.